I think it's so difficult for people to publicly advocate for the problems of men and boys. Because victimhood doesn't work for men the way it works for women. We don't feel sorry for men. And rightly so, by the way. Biologically, men are disposable in a way that women aren't, for the obvious reasons. If you have a tribe of 10 men, 10 women, you send the women off to war, you're screwed. You send the men off to war, one comes back, you can still replenish the population. So men are disposable always will be much more than women and so we are, we don't feel sorry for men in the same way and i am not advocating that we feel sorry for men because i don't believe that's the solution to men's problems the solution to men's problems is for men to be better Can what's I, that mean you know what i mean now look at you this is what your entire life is spent on bettering yourself physically emotionally psychologically mentally you're obsessed with performance you're obsessed with being better you're obsessed with being happier, more fulfilled, all of these things. It's a pursuit of your own greatness. One of the reasons that men's mental health is not as good as it could be is that A, we do live in a society which discourages them from being men and being the way that men are supposed to be. But the other reason is that most of the personal development and psychology fields are geared towards female ways of being. And most of the ways that we treat, for example, depression, men don't need the same thing as women do when it comes to that. What men need is to feel powerful and capable.